Hi, my name is Jeremy, and today I'm going to show you how to install Network eManager, which is used to do all of your program configurations for your CIX phone systems, uh, your CIX40, your uh, CIX100, your 200, CIX670, and your CIX1200. Uh, we'll start off by taking a look at the opening screen of Network eManager. Uh, this is how it looks when you have it installed and you're uh, going to be logging into eManager. Uh, the specifications uh, requirements for installing eManager are that you need to have at least 1 gigahertz of uh, processor speed. 32-bit uh, and 64-bit operating systems will work. Uh, Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2 or above, uh, Windows Vista Business Edition, Windows 2003 Server, or Windows 2000 Professional. Uh, minimum RAM requirements are 512 megabytes. Uh, recommended is 1 gigabyte. Uh, Internet Explorer 6.0 or later to use. Uh, you can also use, I believe, Google Chrome as well as Firefox if you enable them to be your default browser. But there has been issues with uh, Firefox. Uh, usually we use Internet Explorer. It seems to be the, the stable stable one of the three. Uh, the add-on components that get installed with eManager are the Internet Information Services, otherwise known as IIS, uh, .NET Framework, and the SQL Server. Uh, if you are going to install Windows XP Professional Service Pack 2, you need to disable the firewall. Sometimes even on, I think, Windows 7, you need to, might not have to anymore, but you used to have to disable that firewall, as well as you need to, still need to, disable the pop-up blocker uh, on the web browser. Otherwise, eManager will not, it will come up, but it will close out right away. It will not uh, open completely. So we can go to FYI to retrieve the eManager installation file as well as the uh, programming manual for the CIX and in that manual you'll have eManager uh, how to install it will go through the steps step by step and it's just uh, a complete manual for configuring the uh, your CIX systems and I will show you uh, how to get to eManager or uh, the the file. I do have it installed on my desktop already or I should say downloaded. Uh, it takes about 40 minutes to download. Depends on your internet connection. I've got uh, a 30 megabyte megabit download speed and uh, it took about 40 minutes so it's a big file. And just log in with your credentials. So if you go to Strata documentation, if you go to the programming link, go to click on this manual. On this virtual system I'm using right now, the Windows 7 virtual, I can't open this up because it's not. I don't have a PDF viewer installed. But if you open this up, you get the whole big manual. It's I think 580 pages long. Uh, if you click on Strata Software and you click on s the second link, which is a CIX administration tools, and here is the Network eManager version 5.2 B26, and that came out uh, seven months ago, about. So uh, this is the download file. So if we take a look, I've already got it downloaded from the site. So if you click on this, actually, if you click on it. Uh, Scroll down to the agree, click on that, and it's going to give you, you can either run it or you can save it as. I saved it as, so that way I didn't have to uh, let you wait through the video to see this take 40 minutes to download. So I just downloaded it to the desktop and I already have it installed or downloaded. Uh, if you take a look at the properties, 198 megabytes. It took a while to download, 40 minutes or so. 
Uh, so I can close out of this now. So that's how you grab the E manager from FYI. And if I just click this and download that. Click yes. Uh, they give you two choices here. I like to use the second one because there's gonna they're gonna give you a specific location where it's gonna be installed at. And it's gonna go through the process of installing IIS.NET uh, framework and the SQL server. Click install now. And it's just going to install the ASP.NET, the Ajax extensions. And here it's checking to see if I have IIS, FTP, SNMP installed and enabled. So it looks like the process will take about 30 minutes. I think it, uh, I think you have to enable the SNMP in the administration tools section after a while. Now it's just extracting the files to the directory. It's working with Microsoft SQL right now. Now it's creating the database for eManager. Now it's going to prepare us to install it and we're going to click yes on that. Now we'll click on next, select yes, install to the default folder of eManager folder. And now we're on our way to install eManager. And now it's just creating the, uh, the objects. And now we need to restart the computer to uh, have that take effect. Uh, so I will restart that. So now we have Windows 7 uh, restarted. And you'll see that it cannot open up so we actually have to go to the Internet Explorer 
we need to click on the gear wheel and it should give us there we go if we go to internet options click on the privacy tab uh, I need to turn off that pop-up blocker so now if we click on that it will be able to open sometimes it takes a little bit to uh, open up uh, so the default username is administrator password is password login and this is it this is how you uh, get your e-manager installed and and up and running